Hey, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So you'll recall that M855A1 that I fired at the level three in conjunction plate that Sawyer Lawrence sent to me because I thought it was a ceramic plate, but it wasn't. Okay, well, I identified which one the ceramic plate was so that I could fire another round of M855A1 EPR against it. Let's take a look at that one. This is also Aegis. Uh, level three in conjunction plate, but it's a ceramic level three in conjunction plate. So the results might be a little different than the last time. Let's take a look. Ah, it's a piece of copper. Well, there's a story that stopped it. That's interesting. It's a different kind of material than I'm used to seeing. Maybe that's boron carbide instead of the, what is it, silica or something that's usually in these plates. All right, that was super impressive. It stopped the round completely right there in the plate. There was minimal back face deformation. Didn't even touch the soft armor. I am impressed. Ceramic does some amazing things. There's plenty of room left on this plate as well as the other two level three in conjunction plates that Sawyer Lawrence sent. So let me know what other threats you'd like to see tested against these plates. I really like the idea of level three in conjunction plates, especially for law enforcement, but even just for the armed citizen, because they provide a significant amount of protection on their own, even though they're only rated in conjunction. And oftentimes you may be wearing soft armor already and then put the rifle plate on top of that. It's a really neat idea and it helps keep thickness and weight down tremendously. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you think I got something wrong or if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave a comment below. I appreciate your support. Have a great day. Oh, you're good.